Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, we're just doing a good old fashioned declutter. My lip product drawer where I keep my lipsticks, my liquid lipsticks, my lip liners, my glosses, all of it. It is to the point where I can't fit any more products in it. It is full, 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 full. So, I'm gonna angle y'all downwards and we are just going to go through all of my lip products and decide what I need to get rid of and what's worth keeping. So let's get started. I'm like, where do I even start? Okay, so first thing I'm seeing, this is the my liquid lipstick from Ormolewa. This is a great formula. It's a new product. I haven't had it for like a week. So cute. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I'm just gonna put the keeps like, right there I guess. <laughs> Next up from, this is from In Studio. This is their matte lip cream. This is great too. I haven't had this for very long, so I'm probably gonna keep this as well. This is the brand that is carried at Walmart. All of their products are 97 cents. For it being 97 cents, it's actually a really good little formula. So I'm gonna keep that one too. Ah, this is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted formula. I don't know if y'all can see like when I show it that way, but I don't like this formula. <laughs> I don't totally understand it. Like if I wanted a blotted look effect, I would just blot my lips. So it's like a pretty color, but you can see how it's, I hope you can see, I honestly can't really tell. Um, but it's just, it doesn't have opacity to it. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. We're gonna put the, the throwaways over here. Oh, so this is ColourPop's Ultra Matte Formula. This one is really nice. I like this formula. This is the only matte lipstick that I have from them. I don't know why, but that one is nice. You can see the difference in the formulas. I like an opaque liquid lipstick. That's just me. So we'll keep that one for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Let's see, this is the ColorGirl Melting Pout Matte. I have used this maybe once or twice. It's not that old. This one is, like kind of similar to the ultra blotted formula and then it's not totally opaque. I don't, oh my gosh, I don't know. This is what I'm kind of on the fence about. I'll put my maybes on this side. This is the Believe Beauty Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. So this is from Dollar General. The brand Believe Beauty is exclusive at Dollar General. I actually really love this formula. The issue is I'm not totally crazy about some of the shades. Yeah, see, look how dark that looks. So I'm kind of on the fence on that one. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and we'll return to it later. Oh my gosh, there's just so much. I'm like, what do I grab next? Okay, my infallible. Let me, I'm gonna pull out all of my L'Oreal infallibles because I'm seeing a few just kind of right on the surface. We'll start with these guys. Uh, I can tell you that I definitely have more. This L'Oreal infallible formula. Okay, I have some thoughts. So these four in particular are from their Le Macaron line. So there's a few different lines of it. This is the formula that I like best of the L'Oreal Infallible <clears throat> Matte Liquid Lipsticks. However, and I have this problem with a lot of, of uh, formulas that I like is that it doesn't have a lot of shades that I like. So as you can see, these two are actually the same. This is a great shade. I tend to buy multiples of, you know, if I find a shade in a product that I really like, then I'll get multiple of them. This one uh, is a beautiful, like kind of just light corally color. Ooh, I'm making a mess. It's not a color that I wear that much, but it is a really pretty color. And this formula is so freaking good. I love this um, infallible Le Mac, I think I'm, I hope I'm saying that right, oh my gosh, but the Le Macaron formula. This is my favorite shade of this formula. This is Praline de Paris. Just a nice kind of cool pinky purpley tone. Y'all know I love my cool tones. I have several of this one in particular. Um, but this shade, this is one of the shades that I don't like. And these do smell, by the way, smell like cookies, like vanilla cake, like that kind of birthday cake almost smell. This is just not a color that looks very good on me personally. 
doesn't look too bad swatched, but I just don't like the shade. So I think I'm going to give this one away. And then this one is kind of like that one. It's also from the Lay Macaron line. This is Dose of Rose. This one looks like it might be a good color, but it's just a very like pale pink and it looks just weird on me. I don't know. So I don't like this shade either. I'm gonna see if I see about giving that one away. But that formula is so good. This, um, the L'Oreal Infallible Lay Mac Macron, Lay Macron, I don't know. Lord help me. But this formula is so, 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 so good. Transfer proof and will actually wear all day. This stuff will literally not go anywhere. I, and it's, it's so super comfortable. I just love it. It's such a good formula. Now they have a couple other lines of that formula. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible. It's also a pro matte liquid lipstick, um, but this is from their like Lay Chocolates line. This is um, Candyman. Now I haven't been able to find a shade from the Chocolates line. This Chocolates one is very similar. It smells really good but I have not been able to find a shade that I like of that one. They all kind of have this like brown tone to them. This is like the most pinkish one and it's still, it just reads like brown. It's not very flattering on me. So I'm gonna think, I'm gonna give that one away as well. But the formula is fabulous. Okay, now this is a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. Anytime I hear like matte gloss. I'm just like, that is such an oxymoron. Like, what is it even? It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a velvet matte, I guess you could call it. It doesn't totally dry down. It's not transfer proof or anything like that, but it does wear for quite a while. The color is a little loud for me personally, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one. I have worn it before. It's not bad. Okay, what is this? Is this a concealer? What is this? <laughs> I, I got a mystery box from Lorella at one point. I had to have gotten this in that mystery box because this is not a shade that I would ever purchase. I'm still not convinced that it's a liquid lipstick even. <laughs> like, I'm like, it looks like, looks like a dark concealer maybe. Um, it doesn't even say on it. It just it literally just says Layla. Let's swatch it. Yeah, so I really couldn't even tell you if the formula is any good or not because I've never worn it. It's just not even my shade in the slightest in any way, shape or form. So I'm going to try to give that one away. Okay, I got some e.l.f. Oh, there's one, hold, one more L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Matte. I think this is the red one. No, this is Plum Bum, just kidding. I have like a bright red one somewhere. Um, I don't think I've ever worn this one. It's pretty dark. It's like a very vampy kind of a shade. I just really never wear shades like this. And also I will say that, so this is the, the infallible pro matte one, just like on its own. It's not part of the Lay Chocolate or the um, Macron line, whatever. And this particular formula I find does not wear as well as this formula. So I'm gonna give that one away. It's hard for me to give these away because they're really good products. I just have had a hard time finding shades of the L'Oreal Infallible that I like. Okay, I'm seeing a few e.l.f. liquid lipsticks kind of right here at the top. I know that some of these are like repeats, like I have more than one of some of them. So this is uh, the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in T-Rose. This one is also T-Rose. This one is Blushing Rose. And this one is also Blushing Rose. <laughs> That's embarrassing. So these two are the same and these two are the same. I'm trying to think. It's been a while since I've tried this formula. I'm pretty sure I didn't like it. I think it was just very dry and not very comfortable. And I don't think that these shades were anything I was crazy about. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those. Yeah, so both of the tea roses, I'm like, let's check out the blushing rose. Oof, absolutely not, no. <laughs> See, I just don't like brown liquid lipsticks like that. That's just not something that I would wear really. So I'm gonna get rid of those as well. I don't think I like this formula either, the, the e.l.f. formula. Okay, let me clean up a, a little bit. Let me pull out all of these Jeffree Stars that I'm seeing. I have a lot. You guys, I have a lot of Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Okay. I know that I have more, but we'll start with this. Now, I am a little conflicted. Here's one. 
I'm a little conflicted because I really am not very supportive of Jeffree Star anymore. The thing is though, is that I already own these products, so I can stop buying from Jeffree Star to withdraw my support, but I already have these. The money's already spent, so might as well use the product, right? That's my thoughts anyways. Some of these are pretty old though, so let's break it down. Now, one that I absolutely will keep is this one, Calabasas. I love this shade. Now, the Jeffree Star formula, it's a good formula. It's not like the end all be all of liquid lipstick formulas though. He does such a good job of like hyping up his own formulas, but it's good. It's not the most amazing ever, but I do love this shade Calabasas. So I'm going to keep that one. I can't even read this. It's so bright and neon, but this is fully nude. I haven't had this one for that long, but I don't think I like the color. Yeah. That's not really my shade. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Chrysanthemum. I don't think I, I think this is like kind of a metallic one. Maybe? Yeah, not my fave, not my fave. I don't really like metallic liquid lipsticks. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is Birthday Suit. I think this is my, the nude of his that I do really like. There's like one that I really like a lot. I'm gonna keep that one because I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, Deceased, I know I don't like this shade. It's just a little too brown purple. Like it just doesn't look, uh, it's just not, it's just not for me. There it is. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Christmas cookie. This one I love. This one's really good. It is kind of old. <laughs> so I'm like, but you can keep lipsticks for a long time, right? Yeah, this is a really, really good nude for sure. I'm gonna keep this one. I have a couple little minis. I got these on like Poshmark, I think. Skin tight. I don't think I like either of them though. Skin tight, this one is very light, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see? See how light that is? So I don't like shades that kind of just wash out my lips completely. Like need a little bit of dimension there. Um, so if it's too nude, too light of a nude, I don't think I like this one either. This is Celebrity Skin. Yeah, I mean, this one I know is really popular. It just is like, but it looks just brown to me, you know, compared to everything else that's here. Um, so it's just not my jam. I'm gonna get rid of both of those. I'm not sure why I have this one. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I have this one. I think it was just kind of like a, like an impulse buy, I don't know. Or maybe I like added it to get free shipping or something. I don't know. Um, it's a super duper duper hot pink. Uh, I haven't had it that long, like not even a year. It's not a shade I would wear much. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I, I don't know if I wanna keep that or not. I've seen a couple of my Wet n Wild friends. Wet and wild, so if you, oh, here, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got another Jeffree Star, another Jeffree Star. Which one, what is this one? This is the question mark one. This I also got on Poshmark. This one is like just pink. It's like a bubblegum pink. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I haven't worn it much and I haven't had it that long, so I'm gonna keep that one. Um, okay, back to Wet and Wild. Again, I know that this is not all of the wet wild that I have, but this is their liquid. Oh, this is also Jeffree Star. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is cherry wet. I think I'm probably gonna keep this one. It's such a really pretty like apple red or cherry red, I guess you could say. I'm definitely gonna keep that one. Okay. Now, yeah, I definitely have more wet and wild liquid cat suits than this, um, but if you are like, maybe you like Jeffree Star and you don't wanna support Jeffree Star anymore, or you just don't wanna to have to pay, I think they're $18 each for Jeffree Stars. These are like five, four or $5, the liquid cat suits, and this formula is very similar. Uh, the Wet n Wild formula, I would say, is a little bit more dry, and it dries a little bit faster than the Jeffree Star formula but they're very similar. And it's just in general, like for a liquid lipstick formula, it's a good formula. So there it is. This is the shade behind the bleachers. Um, do I wanna keep that? I don't know. This, like if I'm gonna wear red, this is more the red I would wear than this one. I'll put that in the maybe. I don't know if I wanna keep that one or not. Uh, this is 
Nudist Peach. I think I do like this one. Probably keep this one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm not a peachy coral kind of person most of the time. Sometimes I am. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. So check this out. <laughs> These are from the brand Santi, Santi, I don't know exactly how you say it. Both of these I got on shopmissa.com. You'll notice that both of them are not even open. <laughs> That's because um, this formula is terrible. I bought like a few because I got them on Shop Miss A, so they were each a dollar. Um, so I ordered like three or four just to um, try them out. And I think I tried one, hated the formula. It's just so dry and so just like, it's just not good. Um, so I think I'm gonna get rid of these as well. They're not even open, it's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, these are Pixie Matte Last Liquid Lips. I might have some repeats on this one. This is a really good formula. So this is gonna just be me determining which shades I wanna keep, because I know I don't like all of them. I can kind of already tell that this is gonna be one I probably don't like much. This is All Natural. This is a formula that it's like a matte liquid lipstick. It doesn't dry down completely, completely. Uh, it sort of maintains a little bit of a slip, but it's very comfortable. It, ugh, yeah, it smells like rubber though. And that's not because they're old. They like have always smelled like that. Um, should I keep that one? pretty. I'll put that in the maybe pile. I know that there's at least one of these pixie liquid lipsticks that I do really like. Maybe it's this one. This is really rose. Yeah, that looks more like something that I would gravitate towards. I'm gonna keep that one. And then let's see, this is pastel rose. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna put this one in the maybe too. That's Pixie. Now here's another CoverGirl matte pout, melting, melting pout matte. I don't imagine that this is a shade I would like more than the other one I had out earlier. Ooh, that's terrible. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just, you can, I, don't, I hope that you can see that it's like kind of streaky, not totally opaque. So I just, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ooh, here's a couple of Morphe. Let me see. Oh, Schoolgirl and Brunch. Schoolgirl, I absolutely will be keeping. This is just such a beautiful pinky nude. It's like the perfect pink nude. I just love this one so much. And Morphe liquid lipsticks smell like amazing. They smell like, like vanilla birthday cake. So good. Um, this Brunch one, I've got another one somewhere called Virgin, I don't know where it's at. I can't remember if it was Virgin or Brunch that I liked. Um, I think it was probably Virgin. This one does not look like something I would like very much. Yeah, I wanna get rid of that one. All right, so this is the L'Oreal Paris. This is like a matte lipstick. Um, people have like raved about this formula. I have never been able to get into this formula. I'm not a fan, to be honest. It's just kind of sheer, I don't know. No, I don't know, I don't know. That's a pretty shade though. I really like the color of that shade. It just, I find that this formula, it like rubs off really easily. It's not very long lasting. I think it's comfortable enough, but it doesn't like dry down. I don't know, I can't. I'll put this in the maybe, put this with the maybes. Welcome to the maybe family. Um, ooh, Elf Plumping Lip Gloss. I don't know. I don't know if I've even ever used this. Now, a lot of what I judge lip glosses on is how they smell, to be honest. This one doesn't really smell like anything. It's pretty. I can put some on. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the um, keep for now. I might get rid of it ultimately. Okay, let's talk about these glosses, you guys. I don't know if I wanna keep these or not. This one, I'm probably gonna get rid of, honestly. It's uh, it's a good gloss. I like his gloss formula, but it just, like, the purpley reflex to it kind of makes your lips look gray. I don't know. I'll probably keep this pink one, although it has a similar effect. Like, it doesn't go on pink. It's sort of the, 
the glittery reflect of it makes your lips look gray sometimes. I don't know how to describe it well, but I'll keep this one and uh, I don't know, it's just hard. I haven't used this one much at all and I, uh, let's see, if, I'm gonna try and give it away, give it to a friend or something. Okay, let me get my hand cleaned up again real quick. Okay, so this is from In Studio again. I haven't had this one for very long. Let's do swatch it though. I haven't had this one long and I haven't used it much and it's a good formula, so I probably will keep this one unless the color just looks terrible. Uh, no, that looks cute. That looks cute. Okay, I'll keep that one. What is this? Did I... Ooh, Jealousy. Okay, so this is another... Uh, Morphe liquid lipstick. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever used this one actually. Jealousy. Oh, that's probably why. It's just not really my shade. I don't like that very much, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay. Um, Fenty. We are absolutely keeping her. Are you kidding? Have y'all tried this one before? This is the, um, let's see, Stunna Lip Paint in Uncuffed. This shade is just fabulous. Like a mauvey. Kind of neutral pink. It's such a good one. I wish that they had more shades of this formula because I do like this shade. It's just not like my absolute favorite, but the formula for this is so, so, so good. So I'm gonna keep that one for sure. Um, here we go. This is my Believe Beauty. This is my Honey Blush. If you've been in the description box of any of my videos over the last couple months, uh, you probably have seen her make an appearance. I absolutely love this product. The formula of this Believe Beauty, this is the matte, what are we calling it? Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. Uh, and this is the shade Honey Blush. This is the one shade of their liquid lipstick that I really love. There it is right there. It's so good, so perfect. It's just like 100% my kind of a shade, I don't know. Uh, but the formula is so comfortable. It like velvety matte is the perfect way to describe it because it does dry down matte, but it still maintains like a slight slip. It's very comfortable. So I absolutely be keeping this one. I have like, I have at least two of these, if not three. This is a great, it's a great formula. I wish there were more shades that I really loved, but this one is just fantastic. I wear it all the time. Another one that I wear all the time is this one from Dollface. So again, this is one that you, if you ever look at my description boxes, you have probably seen this one in the description box at some point or another, because I wear this one all the freaking time. This is, if I have any kind of a loud, colorful eye look, I just immediately will grab this one because it's like the perfect, kind of pink nude to balance out like a louder eye look. I just freaking love it. It dries down completely matte. It's the matte -nificent, um matte liquid lip color from the brand Dollface. You can get this at Rite Aid, but yeah, it's so good. And the formula is so comfortable. I wish there were more places that sold Dollface because it's a pretty good brand, but this one I will like take to my grave with me. I absolutely love this so much. Another one that I really, really like that's a good one if I do a louder look is this one from Profusion. This is um, Matte Secret Profusion Matte Lip Cream. You can see it's <laughs> pretty, not not too um, dissimilar to like some of my other favorites already, right? Like I kind of have a, have a type, um, but this is a really good matte lip, liquid lipstick. I got this at Walmart uh, and it came with a lip liner. So perhaps we will stumble upon that lip liner at some point. Okay. Um, oh, here's my other honey blush from Believe Beauty. Um, this one has been pretty well loved. This one's been like in and out of my purse quite a bit probably. So we are keeping her for sure. Let's see, I got some more L'Oreal Infallibles I'm seeing. Actually, like see the bottom of this drawer now, you guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> um, okay, so this one, this is the same as the uh, ones that y'all saw earlier from the liquid, uh, from these L'Oreal Infallible, the Lay Macron. This is, I probably didn't say it earlier. This is the shade Guava Gush. Um, super pretty little coral pink peach type of shade. So cute. Love this formula so, 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 so much. This is my, um, third one 
as you can see, I have three of them. This is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is this one's just in red. Now again, I don't like this formula quite as much as I like the Le Macron formula. It just doesn't wear quite as well, but man, that's a pretty red, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna put this in the maybe. I don't know if I wanna keep that or not. This one I absolutely, definitely, 100% will keep. This is, uh, what? I have no idea what that says. Framboise? Frenzy? What? I don't know. This is just like a hot pink shade. It's also the L'Oreal Infallible Le Macron formula. So you know it's awesome. So pretty. It's like bright, hot pink. I love it. This one is so good. If I want like a simple eye look, just do some liner and mascara, lashes, and then boom, pop on this lip and you are ready to conquer the world. Freaking love it. Um, okay, so then this is the Believe Beauty. This is also that same velvet matte formula, but this is the shade Foxy. This one is very much just like a plain Jane nude lip. Like it is just nude. I'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile. I, well, maybe I should just get rid of it. It's tough when it's like, a, I know that the formula is really good, but the shade is just not it, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile. This is a liquid eyeshadow. So, not sure what you're doing in here, but. Oh, here's my Pro Fusion liner. I'm definitely keeping her. She is cute, cuteness, love that. Um, these two came together, by the way. They came as like a little set from Walmart. It was like five bucks. You can't beat it. Here's another ColourPop Ultra Blotted formula. Again, this formula is just not really for me. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna give it away. Chi Glam. This is a good little uh, lip liner. I really, I don't have a lot of lip liners, so I'm probably just gonna keep like all the lip liners that I do have. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this ColourPop one good stuff. This is from Kiko Milano from their Sicilian Notes collection. It's the Liquid Lip Color Duo. This is a really nifty product. So on this side, you've got shiny liquid lip color. And then on this side, you've got matte liquid lip color. So this one is kind of like, the sh so this is the shiny side, the shiny liquid lip color. It's sort of a matte lip, but it doesn't dry down. It's kind of the difference. It's long lasting. Like if you blot it, um, the color is still there, but it does stay shiny and it does maintain a slip. And then the other side is just a true blue matte liquid lipstick um, and it's Kiko Milano. So it's a good formula like Kiko Milano kind of pretty much everything I've tried from Kiko Milano has been really, really good quality. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Here's a oops, lip liner that I got. This is from their Unexpected Paradise collection. This is a great liquid, um, great little lip liner as well. I'm gonna keep it for sure. For sure, for sure. And here's another ColourPop lip liner. We'll keep her for sure. This is the shade Good and Plenty. Um, let me pull these CoverGirl ones out real quick. Here's another one. This is that same hot pink one from the Le Macron line. Two of those. <laughs> Definitely keeping them. Okay, I'm not seeing any other of my cover girl of these guys? I can't remember what these are called. They're like the Outlast. They come in in um, packs like this. You got your lip color and then these are like the kind of balm that you put over it that kind of makes it shiny and keeps it comfortable. These are great. They really do last like 24 hours or however much or however long they claim. I know for a fact that I have several more of these and I'm glad that I have a bunch of these here because I always have a hard time finding these. So we're probably gonna keep all these guys. That's just the bomb part of it. Ooh, this one looks brand new, heck yeah. So we'll keep those guys because I always lose those. Well, let me swatch these guys real quick. This is the shade 550. Oh, this is, this, this is my one. Um, I don't know what the name of it is, but 550 I know, I know is like my girl. You know, that's my, sh that's my shade. Beautimus, love it. Yeah, definitely gonna keep that one. <laughs> it might be old, oh my gosh. Oh, but it's got 36 months on it. I 
don't think I've had it for three years. I don't think I've had it quite that long, so we can keep it. Uh, this one is 960. But this formula is really, really good, you guys. It is very dry, so that's, you know, part of why it comes with that balm. But it does last you. Ooh, that's terrible. Look at that. Can you tell that it's just kind of streaky? I don't like that. Mm. The shade's not really my vibe either. I'm gonna get rid of that one. But like I said, I know for a fact that I have several more of these and I just, I don't know why they're not in here. Okay, this I got from She Glam. I didn't include it in my She Glam video, but this is like, this is a gloss, but it's, a, <laughs> it's orange and sparkly and it's very opaque. <laughs> so I might give this one, look at that. It's supposed to be just a gloss or it's, well, it says lip glaze, so whatever, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't think so, um, it's, the, the packaging's really cool, I don't know if, yeah, you can in the mirror, or in the camera, you can see that kind of, like, kaleidoscope vibe it's got going on, I'm gonna get rid of that one, though, all right, so I'm going to break this up into two parts, so we're gonna end it right here, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, let me know if you like these types of videos and if you want to see more or what other kind of videos you would like to see. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!